Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the enchanting world of fairy tales with a twist. Have you ever wondered, what if the story of Sleeping Beauty was not what it seemed? Let's take a journey into the classic tale of Sleeping Beauty and the mysterious curse that surrounds her. It's a story we all know, but is there more to it than meets the eye? As we unravel the layers of this timeless story, we come face to face with the mystery behind Sleeping Beauty's curse. There are hidden details and overlooked aspects that bring a whole new perspective to the narrative. Now, let's explore the origins of this curse. By delving into different versions of the story and considering historical context, we start to piece together a picture that goes beyond the surface. But wait, here comes the climax, the key moment that changes everything. Brace yourself for a crucial twist in the tale, shedding light on a lesser-known aspect that will make you see Sleeping Beauty in a whole new light. In conclusion, we've uncovered a whole new perspective on Sleeping Beauty's curse. It's not just a simple fairy tale anymore, it's a story full of depth and implications that challenge the traditional narrative. Before we go, we want to hear from you. Share your thoughts on this untold story in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing revelations and twists on your favorite fairy tales. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious. Title Sleeping Beauty's Curse the untold story revealed. Once upon a time, in the serene kingdom of Elysia, nestled amidst enchanted forests and shimmering lakes, a joyous event was celebrated. The long-awaited birth of Princess Aurora brought immense happiness to King Stefan and Queen Leah, whose benevolence and kindness had won the hearts of their subjects. The entire kingdom rejoiced and a grand christening ceremony was organized to welcome the princess. Among the esteemed guests were three good fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. They bestowed upon Aurora gifts of beauty, song, and happiness. However, amidst the festivities, an unexpected guest arrived shrouded in darkness. It was Maleficent, a powerful sorceress whose presence sent a wave of fear through the crowd. Once a protector of the magical realms, Maleficent had been scorned and ostracized for her use of dark magic, a power she had turned to after a deep personal loss. In a voice that resonated with bitterness and sorrow, Maleficent cursed the innocent princess. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and fall into a sleep-like death, she declared, her eyes glinting with a mix of rage and grief. With a final flourish of her staff, she vanished, leaving behind an atmosphere of dread. Desperate to save their beloved daughter, the king and queen sought the counsel of the good fairies. Despite their immense powers, the fairies could not completely undo Maleficent's curse. Instead, they altered it. Aurora would not die, but fall into a deep sleep, only to be awakened by true love's kiss. To protect Aurora, the king ordered all spinning wheels in the kingdom to be burned, and the princess was sent to live in seclusion with the three fairies, disguised as peasants. Years passed and Aurora grew into a beautiful, kind, and spirited young woman, unaware of her true identity and the curse that loomed over her. She was known as Briar Rose, living a simple yet happy life in the forest cottage. She often dreamt of a mysterious young man she had never met, a dream that filled her heart with a longing she could not explain. On the eve of her 16th birthday, destiny began to unfold. Aurora, now Briar Rose, met Prince Philip in the forest. Unbeknownst to her, he was the same prince she had dreamt of. They were instantly drawn to each other, their hearts recognizing a connection that transcended time and space. However, before they could truly understand their feelings, the fairies, realizing that the time of the curse was near, revealed Aurora's true identity and the impending danger. Heartbroken and confused, Aurora returned to the castle with the fairies. Despite their efforts to protect her, 
Maleficent's curse took hold. Guided by an eerie enchantment, Aurora found herself in a hidden chamber of the castle, where an old spinning wheel awaited. Compelled by the curse, she pricked her finger on the spindle and fell into an enchanted sleep. As Aurora lay in her slumber, the entire kingdom was enveloped in a deep sadness. The fairies, determined to find a way to break the curse, sought out Prince Philip, knowing that his love for Aurora was true. But Maleficent, aware of the prince's significance, captured him and imprisoned him in her dark fortress. Maleficent's fortress was a place of nightmares, filled with dark magic and guarded by her loyal minions. Yet, Philip's love for Aurora gave him the strength to endure. With the help of the good fairies, who provided him with magical weapons, he escaped from his prison and made his way to the castle. The journey was fraught with peril. Maleficent, in her desperation to prevent the breaking of the curse, transformed into a fearsome dragon, engaging Philip in a fierce battle. The prince, wielding the sword of truth and shield of virtue, gifted by the fairies, fought bravely. The final blow struck true, and Maleficent was defeated, her dragon form crumbling to ash. Philip, weary but determined, made his way to Aurora's side. He gazed upon her serene face, his heart swelling with love and hope. As he gently kissed her, the curse was broken, and Aurora awakened. Their love, pure and true, had triumphed over darkness. The kingdom rejoiced as Aurora and Philip were reunited. Their love not only broke the curse, but also brought a new era of peace and prosperity to Elysia. Yet, the untold story of Maleficent's curse lingered in the shadows, waiting to be revealed. Years later, Aurora, now queen, discovered a hidden chamber in the castle filled with ancient texts and artifacts. Among them was Maleficent's diary, a testament to the sorceress's tragic past. As Aurora delved into the pages, a different side of Maleficent's story emerged. Maleficent had once been the guardian of the enchanted forest, a realm of magic and wonder. She had fallen in love with a human, a knight named Eldrick, who shared her passion for protecting the land. However, their love was forbidden, and the king, fearing the union of human and magical realms, had Eldrick executed. Heartbroken and consumed by grief, Maleficent turned to dark magic, believing it to be the only way to avenge her love and protect her realm. In her sorrow, Maleficent became isolated and bitter, her heart hardened by betrayal. The curse she cast upon Aurora was not just an act of vengeance, but a manifestation of her own pain and loss. The spindle represented the spinning of fate and the inevitable turning of time, a symbol of her own heartbreak. Aurora, moved by Maleficent's story, sought to understand the sorceress's pain. She realized that behind the dark magic and curses lay a soul yearning for love and justice. Determined to honor Maleficent's legacy, Aurora and Philip worked to unite the human and magical realms, fostering understanding and cooperation between their peoples. Through their efforts, the enchanted forest flourished once more, and the kingdom of Elysia became a beacon of harmony. Aurora's reign was marked by compassion and wisdom, and the tale of Sleeping Beauty evolved into a legend of love, redemption, and the enduring power of understanding. The untold story of Maleficent's curse was a reminder that every villain has a past, and every curse can be broken with love and forgiveness. Aurora's journey taught the kingdom that darkness and light are intertwined and that true strength lies in embracing both. And so the story of Sleeping Beauty, 
once a simple tale of a princess and a curse, became a timeless saga of love conquering all, revealing the hidden depths of hearts and the power of empathy to heal even the deepest wounds. The kingdom of Elysia thrived under the rule of Aurora and Philip, their love a guiding light for generations to come. The Stories Book is a captivating collection of tales that traverse diverse genres and emotions, spanning the realms of fantasy, science fiction, romance, and mystery. Each narrative is a journey into the unexpected, weaving intricate plots and compelling characters. With a skillful blend of vivid imagery and thought-provoking themes, this anthology invites readers to explore the depths of imagination and discover the universal threads that connect us all. From heartwarming moments to spine, we hope you enjoyed these captivating video stories. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming content like this. Thanks for watching and keep spreading the video story.